Once, when Krishna was tending calves with Balarama and the cowherd boys, he saw the demon Bakaswa on the bank of the Yamuna river in the form of a giant storm. The demon had a huge pointed beak and made a terrible sound. He immediately attacked Krishna and quickly swallowed him up. Krishna's friends wept with grief as if they had lost their own lives. Indra, with a terrible force, released his mighty lightning at the demon. The demon fell to the ground but remained unharmed. Then came the mighty Surya, the god of the sun. Having bent above, he shot hundreds of arrows that cruelly pierced the demon. But Aswar did not die. The god of the moon, Soma, applied his ice astra against the demon. Struck by cold, the demon fell unconscious, but then rose again. Then other gods and demigods tried to attack Bakasura, but to everyone's surprise, an incredibly powerful demon survived. Inside the demon, Krishna in his effulgent form began to increase in size. Feeling that his neck and throat were about to burst, the demon opened its beak and sped out Krishna with a deafening roar. Bakasura tried to pack at Krishna with its powerful beak, but Krishna, deftly dodging his strikes, grabbed the demon by the tail and threw him to the ground. Krishna seized the demon's beak with both hands and split it in two like an elephant splits the branches of a tree. Bakasura died immediately and his soul emerged from his body in the form of a glowing bowl and entered the body of Krishna. Who was this demon in his past life? Bakasura was a demon named Utkala, the son of Hayagriva. He defeated many demigods and captured many kings. This great demon ruled for hundreds of years and enjoyed the plundered wealth. One day he came to the heart of Jajali Muni, where the Ganges merges with the ocean. The demon began to fish, even though the sage forbade him to do so. The demon did not pay attention to the words of the sage. Then Jajali Muni cursed him, saying, O oh, unfortunate one, you love to eat fish like a stork, so become one. In an instant, he turned into a stork. The demon pleaded with Jajali Muni to forgive his mistake. Then the sage blessed him, saying he would be killed and liberated through the hands of Sri Krishna at the end of Dvapara Yuga.